Hello everyone, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. My name is Endub, and welcome back to Star Citizen. It has been a hot minute since I last made a Star Citizen video, and to summarize, I have adopted a puppy and have had technological issues. But enough about me, we're going to dive right into today's tutorial. Salvaging. For those following along at home, you will need a ship that has cargo space and two multi-tools. I have selected the Drake Vulture today because I will be showing that off on the tail end of today's episode. The multi-tool attachments you will need are the tractor beam attachment, which has had a mechanics rework, and the new Cambio Light SRT attachment, as well as the associated storage tans. The SRT attachment and storage cans can be purchased at all Dumpers Depot and Platinum Bay establishments. My personal preference for the time being is the Dumpers Depot at Port Alizar. You will need to select a salvage contract from the missions tab and travel to the salvage site. For the example I am using today, I have selected an Aegis Titan Renegade. At a basic level, salvaging can be completed by any player without the need for a specialized salvaging ship, like the Vulture or Aegis Reclaimer. However, salvaging by hand takes a decent amount of time, and abandoning salvage contracts affects your reputation with the issuing faction. So my recommendation when just starting out and salvaging is to select smaller, more manageable ships that have a cargo bay. The reason being, they only cost 5,000 credits to purchase the salvage rights, and when they have a cargo bay, they will have cargo in them, or at least they should. And of course the weapons. Between those two factors, you should make your money back. When you first arrive on the scene, your primary objective will be to detach and load the weapons and cargo off your salvage ship into your own hold. As I said before, the tractor beam has had a change in mechanics. You can no longer attach yourself to a ship or object that has too much mass to move around in order to rapidly maneuver yourself during EVA operations. However, you can now rotate objects that are, you are tractoring by pressing and holding the R key and adjusting your mouse position. Once you have loaded all the components and cargo you wish to salvage from your target ship, then you can begin hull scraping by swapping to your SRT multi-tool. It will take time and a decent number of canisters to completely scrape even a small ship. While I have time-lapsed the footage here, from start to finish it took a little over 14 minutes to hull scrape just the wing, winglet, and part of the belly of the Titan here. So just because you can hull scrape by hand, doesn't mean you should, because the SRT canisters can only be used to repair your ship as far as I know, and they should not be able to be sold in stores. Well, it's sold for salvage and cost and whatnot. And once again, there is the time aspect, after all. In order to hull scrape with the Vulture, you will need to reorient the ship to face your target. And then, in order to activate the Media Blasters, press the M button. Observe. Had I been hull scraping with the Vulture from the start, I would have already been done and well on my way to my next contract. And as a bonus, anything you scrape with the Vulture will get nicely packaged up in a crate and can be sold at trade and development consoles in any station or city. And that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video.